Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your monthly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for May 2019. I hope you are Libra. So we have four general energies of the month here. We have the Moon, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords. The central card is Strength, which is the overriding energy of the month. Top two cards, I've, I've pulled out a clarifier actually for the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess talking about romance, relationships, even wider friendships. Bottom two cards, but three popped out. We have Judgment, Five of Wands and the World Energy. And this is very much about business, finances, career, money. I've also pulled an Archangel Oracle card. I think a couple fell out and an angel romance card as well. So I'll just read those out to you now, Libra. So the first Archangel Oracle card is Nurture, Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So it is about paying attention to self. And the, la the next one that came out is Relationship Harmony, Archangel Regal. We angels are opening the hearts of everybody involved. Arguments and conflicts are now being resolved. So that's powerful. Now, a couple of Romance Angel cards fell out. The first one is Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So what you've been wishing for, what you've been hoping for, Libra. And the last one is, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Now I'm going to start with that one actually, because normally I do go here to the strength card, to the overriding energy. But I'm just going to start here with relationships. Because we have the Queen of Swords, we have the High Priestess, and the Queen of Swords was clarified by the King of Cups. Now, these two cards together can talk about maybe separation in the past, separation, divorce from a relationship. And you really had to kind of like listen to your gut instinct to push forward in a situation, certainly romance-wise. Maybe truths came out Maybe truths came out in this situation, Libra. And it might well have closed your heart off to new relationships, to trust, you know. Um, this can also be where you're kind of like maybe protecting yourself from love again, you know. Um, where you are not paying attention to your heart centre as much. Maybe where you've closed yourself off to love. And the High Priestess, certainly this energy, may well be telling you that it's time to move on. It's time to listen to that instinctive voice within you, to make your life whole, to make your life more complete, to allow that love back into your life. So that's very much a quite a powerful message that I, I sensed in the reading. Won't resonate for some, some of you. Won't resonate for all of you. Will resonate for some of you. So... We have the Strength card here as the overriding energy of the month. Strength card is very much about having that courage, that inner resource, that inner belief. This is where you find that power again within you. The Classically, the line can mean the mind and the maiden means you. And this is where we get mastery over our thoughts. Now, if you can imagine how detrimental negative thoughts can be to your mind, to your emotions, to your inner self. Again, the High Priestess being here, it is about understanding that now. Again, I do talk about our thoughts, feelings, how they can be our greatest friend or our worst enemy. And this is where you're getting mastery over that Libra or you have an opportunity to. It's a decision to move forward. It's having that courage, that strength to certainly overcome obstacles in your mind, your heart, right now. That's the real strength of the situation. Um, 
this also is very much about finding your power maybe in your external world as well if you are coming up against negativities difficulties you'll have that strength of mind the know-how to deal with them and be successful because this is where you're asserting your own power and um, so it's a beautiful energy now something is over and this is clarified by <laughs> um, the ace of pentacles beautiful energy it says it's good news this is good news it's time to be grounded it's time to be focused it's time to allow new beginnings in you have two literally two new beginnings cards in this reading so really powerful libra and i think it's taken a lot of strength to get to this point because again the sword linked to the mind this is very much dark clouds having hovered over you having been very hurt in the past could have been very much on the relationship front for some of you and it's saying it's time now it's time to let go of that past hurt it's time it's time to stop letting it keep you down it's time to rise up and start walking through that new door to new beginnings and there's some kind of like reward for doing that could be self-value finding that self-value in your in in your own self and um, finding your self-worth again this can link to monetary success as well the beginnings the very beginnings of monetary success and it's divinely guided you know this is the hand of god the divine the universe whatever it means to you so beautiful energy libra i do talk about you know our our minds our emotions worst demons sometimes and our greatest strength and this is a classic case in point this is where raw waters representing emotions can run wild when they're left in check our emotions again can represent our fears they can put doubt in our head they can stop us from seeing paths clearly and it's an illusion of the mind it's an illusion of the heart and this card is saying that there are opportunities now to listen to your instinct to be that intuitive person um, queen of swords very perceptive very perceptive in making decisions um, clear head judges things without emotion and that's very much the kind of feeling that i'm getting that you need to do right now see the facts of the situation be focused one step ahead one step at a time and just move forward with conviction and yeah i mean this can talk about if you open your heart if you allow new love new happiness to come in this can talk about real self-love being in that happy place um, achieving some success in terms of emotional happiness, emotional contentment. Things turning around for the better in your life long term. And it's a completion. You've got two completions, a 10. You've also got a world card here. Something's very much over. And I kind of think it's your choice now, whether it's over. You see the dark clouds are lifting. You see this dawn coming through. You have to let that happen. It's about letting it happen, trusting the process and trusting that heart, your emotions, getting those centered. It can also talk about um, new soulmate relationships potentially. If it's not in a couple, this can talk about you bringing about your own abundance, your own happiness, your own joy, finding that happier space within and also in your external world. So it's a beautiful, beautiful card. This is the Happy Ever After card. And though nothing is ever perfect, it's what's perfect to you. It's what you've been hoping for, wishing for. And I think you will be getting some divine reward this month. Again, the Ace of Wands. This could be. Maybe you need a new job. Maybe some of you are looking at a new job, new career advancement, new business, ad new business ventures taking off. Um, and this is at the beginnings of that process, that, you know, that process, that very beginning of things starting. But there's opportunity. You see, this is grabbing opportunity that's presented to you. Now, this wand is sprouting leaves. When it sprouts leaves, it talks about the beginnings of real expansion, long-term success. So whatever you're focusing on, Libra, it's going to give you 
more happiness, more stability. Sometimes it might be the fact that you're throwing yourself into work and not paying attention to your heart, to love. And I think you're beginning to get that balance again. I think you're beginning to find that balance within you because Librans find it very difficult if they don't have balance in their lives. And I think where something may well have thrown you off balance, you're getting that back again. You see, you see the dark and the light. It's, it's, it's all about balance, I think, really for you. Um, this can also be about passion, desire, maybe finding passion, desire in, could be a new relationship, new love, um, or passion, desire in yourself, uh, finding that confidence, beginning to take action in your own life now. This is what this card can represent as well. You can certainly talk about opportunities being presented. Um, generally it's on the business front, but I'm just getting that passion, desire as well from this as well. So it may well be relating to relationships as well. So beautiful energy. Now, these are lovely cards. These are lovely cards. And you know, I'm going to read these two. So we've got judgment and we've got the five of wands. I mean, this is just like, wow, this is in the business career. If you have been involved in arguments in the workplace, disputes, people trying to undermine you, something bubbling negatively under the surface where no one's actually talking about the elephant in the room. That's very much the five of one's energy. This can also be about being competitive at work, so competing to go for a new job, potentially. Having a lot of competition, you know, to actually come up against. It kind of says, I mean, we've got judgment here and the world, good karma. Good karma is on your side. The universe is on your side guiding you and this is achievement. So I think some of you will be very successful in what you're going for if it's competitive. Now, if this is negative in terms of things bubbling under the surface, people undermining you, your authority, questioning you, challenging you, trying to bring you down, making you just feel unsettled, Libra, bringing you out of balance. It kind of talks about karma. <laughs> it does talk about divine retribution. Um, so it's kind of like the message here is just go with the flow. And I think, I think you'll be a bit victorious for it, for just sitting tight and keeping your own power, keeping your own sense of self and not allowing other people to take your power in any way. It is about, about keeping and standing in your own power this month, most definitely. Um, and that's what I'm feeling, stand in your own power, sense of self, because the judgment card is very much good karma. It's where you're stepping into the light. It's where you're being recognized. It's where you're being asked to forgive the past, maybe forgive and let go of what's gone before. If this kind of like arguments, this pettiness is to do with this relationship thing um, and the Ten of Swords as well, it's about letting it go. It's time. And, oh my goodness, the world card, completion, feeling more whole than you have done in months, if not years. Um, stepping into a new phase of your life, I and mean, when spe we speak about the new beginning cards that we've seen, beautiful, powerful energies, Libra. Um, a great sense of achievement, success, this is a card of real success. And you've grown, you've grown, and it's made you stronger. This grown, this this face that phase this growth has made you really strong it's made you a bigger better person than you ever have been before and i think it's you're shining i think you're stepping into your own light yeah so it's a beautiful energy so i hope you enjoyed the reading libra if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a great month and i'll see you next time thank you